Gormy V said, welcome to my channel. My name is uh, Gormy. Anyway, and in today's video, we are gonna carry on something that we have recently started. Because of you, my babies, so we are not only doing a part two of this amazing Nyomi Q&A, but actually, we are uploading it because you have actually, uh, why am I saying actually so many times? I have no idea. <laughs> you have requested me, you have commented, you wanted the second part and the second part is here. Now, if it's the first time you see me, if it's the first time you click on this video, I will leave it down into the description um, part one as well. I feel like maybe we should start a playlist. I don't know. I have so many ideas and I cannot wait to even hear more of your ideas because we are gonna make this the best content ever and I need your help so as you guys have probably seen from the first time we were talking 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 an intro that was like long for forever we are gonna go just down straight to the point right now and um, back with the book of shadows with all the Christianas now as I said earlier, I unfortunately I am not gonna write uh, the name on anybody because you babies are amazing and I cannot just pick one, especially because pretty much every question has been doubled up. So I know you guys are feeling me. I'm just saying it if you are new up in here and I will try to also leave some picture on the screen so they can kind of help you out. Now, what is the longest time I set for a tattoo session? Now, this is a question that I did actually get asked quite Quite a lot. Um, the longest I have ever sat for a tattoo was uh, just about uh, six and a half hours so to seven. It was literally just in between. It wasn't perfect seven, but it wasn't like less than six and a half. Um, and that was on my leg tattoo. As you guys know, I have this big work on my leg. I'm down now on my second session. Um, I think we're still gonna need to do at least like three, maybe four, uh, because it's gonna be like a full on slip on my leg. I wanna do like that artist is absolutely amazing and he's gonna cover absolutely everything and his name is Joe Bosco and is absolutely insane he travels everywhere so every time he's down in London I always try to grab him if not is normally like in the US or um, in Brazil um, so every time he's here I'm always trying to Book an appointment. <laughs> Next question is how painful is to get tattooed? Now Pain is so subjective and some people feel pain in different places, in different ways. Places that, that um, have been more painful for me is where I have more of, um, of a fat layer. Like when I got my hand done over here, so when I got this one on my sleeve um, this area over here like this pinchiness over here it wasn't painful as in like oh my god I'm, I'm about to like pass out but it kind of felt a bit more painful um, weirdly enough every time I actually end up getting to a bone and I mean like the center here is kind of bony for me as well as like I don't know if you can see it because the tattoo is quite dark anyway but here is just like my little bone as well on my knees. Um, bones are not that extremely painful on my personal opinion. Now again, I have a very high tolerance to pain. Um, it's something that I can't say that I'm proud of. Uh, it's something that I can't say, oh, I'm a man. It's just me. Uh, when I was younger, I had a big trauma on, uh, um, I literally hurt myself on my right leg and I ended up going to the hospital and get stitched up and they couldn't sedate me because I was so young. Um, as well as um, the blood was going to float in a different way. So I had to have uh, nine stitches i believe and one is actually on my calf one is just at the front of my leg exactly where the bone is and you can that's a bit disgusting but you can actually see the bone um i was about eight or nine and i was so calm i like literally that shock of me hurting myself and getting to the hospital and get a stitch out i was just like we can do this doctor we can do this. So I think after that huge shock on my body, now I perceive pain in such a different way. As well, 
pain doesn't last forever this beautiful artwork um it will if you look after it and you don't laser off it will last for forever so every time you feel like you're stopping yourself to get such a beautiful art only because you're afraid of the pain remember pain just come and go and this lasted for so much longer <laughs> next question is how i ever got my have i ever got my boyfriend tattooed like name tattooed on myself or matching tattoos as you guys probably seen i did not uh from my previous video i did not actually get a tattoo of my boyfriend name um but i do have his initial and that is my first boyfriend that i had from the age of 16 to the age of 20. then i did have um, a memorial tattoo on my second boyfriend that unfortunately passed away and i do actually have a tattoo for dan and is this heart over here i wonder if you guys get to see it if not i'm just gonna pop a picture somewhere um dan works in um in animation in movies it creates light and shadows he does so many cool things but when i first met him he used to work in cartoons um and he used to do like all the like tv cartoons that you probably know them um so i wanted to have a heart to represent him but i wanted to be pixelated because it was uh, um all about his pixel and making things happen and now it's into movies now works in movies I need to upgrade that, <laughs> but I really love it. So I wouldn't particularly have a matchy matchy tattoo with somebody, um, but I have in the past. I have in the past. Next is, have I ever got a match tattoo with anybody? Okay, we need to answer this question. Um, I have two tattoos that they're kind of matching. The first one, as you guys know, I got my sister name tattooed on my chest. Um, she has exactly the same, but with my name, and she has her on at wrist. Um, so that kind of a matching tattoo, like we got it at the same time, we got it for each other. But it's not exactly down to the T. And um, the only one that is completely matchy matchy is actually this. I was still, like I was telling you about this tattoo um, on the previous video, and it was all about like me, myself, and I uh, do stick and poke tattoo. At the time, um, I used to date girls, um, and I had a girlfriend, and we wanted to have something to just like look at each other. We were young; we could not afford a ring. We just wanted to be cool and edgy, so we end up. Uh, I end up actually doing both um, of our. That's true, if you can call them like that. Um, the, it's so small and it's so like old that like you can't even read anymore. But literally it's like an half circle. One is white, one is black. It's not the yin and yang. It was just cool to just do a black and white circle. Once we actually broke out, uh, break up, how do you say it? We split. We were not together long longer. We're still friends though. We still, we still keep in touch, not as before that we used to like make up tongues but we know each other <laughs> um, I made two lines to go into different directions so she went on her beautiful love story now she has an amazing family with a cute little kids and I went with mine and I left the country and uh, I'm here with you and uh, you're all my babies <laughs> so yes not exactly 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 matchy matchy but pretty pretty close next one is uh, do all tattoos, do all my tattoos have meanings? Um, no. Uh, the majority of them, they do. And if they don't have a meaning, like if they were not like um, a memorial for somebody, <coughs> something is in my throat. And it's not what I wish it was. So, uh, some of them, um, I just really like the art. Like, for example, this one over here is a pink shark. I don't know if you can see it. I'm so terrible in doing this. I promise you I'll learn. This pink shark, um, I just love pink sharks. Like, well, I love sharks. They are one of my favorite animals. Uh, but I didn't want it to have a traditional, like, of white, grayish, white shark kind of look. I want it to be pink. So, does it have a meaning? No, I just like sharks. But then I have um, tattoos that they actually do have a huge meaning. Um, for example, let me give you another one. Um, which one does have a big meaning? Well, the keyhole, they kind of do have a big meaning. They represent um, my mom and dad. Um, they represent the way I see them. Um, now I don't want to get to like too dark of a detail, but I always say for like a, a big part of my life, kind of like two closing doors. 
um, there I did not um, have keys to enter. Um, that's very quite cool. But um, they were very supportive, but we were not like the best people to talk to each other. We, I did not have that close relationship. Um, so for me, they were always closed doors. Now, as the time went on, and now I'm getting like a little bit wiser, a little bit older, um, our relationship specifically with my father is very, very close. Uh, with my mother is still a bit um, like up and downs. Um, I think there is there is always gonna be a layer between us um, and it's hard to kind of like break down to it. But um, yeah, I think like as I'm getting older, I'm starting to appreciate more um, a lot of things. Um, so yeah, so back to the question. Some do have a meaning, some they do not. <laughs> Next one is, um, what kind of aftercare do I do on my tattoos? Now, this is one thing that you will learn with your body and as well as are you getting tattooed um, to get different aftercare. I personally love dry healing. Now, dry healing is pretty much what it sounds like. You are just letting your tattoo breathe uh, without adding any kind of like creams or substance or anything. Substance? Can you add substance? I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but literally you just don't moisturize your tattoo. Um, you just let it dry. Um, now, there are um, pros and cons with it. People say that having dry healing tattoo will have a bit more like scratchy feeling. Now, I don't experience that whatsoever. What I do experience is that sometime, especially when I did my knee, dry healing was a pain because every single time I was moving my knee, um, I felt like the, the actual healing was like breaking apart every single minute. Um, knee tattoo, to be honest with you, it wasn't a pain or painful to actually get it done, but it was so much trouble um, to completely heal. Uh, like, Seriously, there was a point that I couldn't even walk um, and it hurt, uh, but actually getting tattooed was kind of all right. Now, I do want to say I actually um, kind of like uh, made a diary, like I filmed every single step when I got my hand tattoo because I was planning to do a video, then I put it on the side. But if you guys want, I have footage from literally from day one till day 10, and it's all about how I dry healed my hands. So if you guys want to see that, please let me know down in the comments and I will make that a video. I have the footage. I just need to puzzle it together and just soak it through. But yeah, so if you want to know more about my hands tattoo and how I dry heal, let me know down below. Um, next question is um, favorite tattoo artist. And I know somebody was also asking me if I always get tattooed by the same person as well. Um, I don't get tattooed by the same person because I love um, to uh, artists to take their own spontaneous um, like approach with things. Um, I had artists that they've done multiple tattoos on me. The majority of my right arm is done by um, Chico Melo, and I will leave some of the Instagram as well uh, scrolling down. Um, he done my big um, octopus, the lady, the dagger, um, this beautiful man on the side over here. Um, he also done this gorgeousness on this side here, as well as these beautiful legs. And this one was a collaboration with his girlfriend. Uh, she designed it and he tattooed it for me. So yeah, he has done a lot of work. Then I have Jimmy, um, and Jimmy is absolutely incredible. He's the one that actually done my hand tattoo, as well as is working on my chest tattoo. Um, and this one is gonna be a work in progress because we're actually taking this this to the next level um, is actually gonna go down to my back, um, it's gonna come out again through my ribs and go down to my stomach. So that is um, something I'm really looking forward to. Then of course I have Joe, Joe Bosco, that is the guy that is doing my left leg. Um, and other one, they were kind of like a bit um, piss and take and everything. I did have uh, Karis as well. That is so cool if you're looking like, to be honest with you, I will leave it down in the description, all the people that actually tattooed me, uh, their Instagram, so you can go and shout them out, leave them some yellow hearts, say that Carmi sent you, that would be cool. 
uh, but he did uh, the pink shark, he did this beautiful man over here holding a pipe, um, and also he did my keyholes. Um, so yeah, uh, I got tattooed quite a bit by different people, but there are some that are on my bucket list, and I will leave it all here, like some uh, scrolling Instagram. I think their art is absolutely beautiful. I do have, like I have contacted some of them, and I might gonna get tattooed by them, and I'll keep you up to date. So that is super ex exquisite excitement and last question is that probably is super fitting do i have any future tattoo plan now um, as i was explaining to you very quickly jimmy is gonna do it's gonna carry on this beauty through my back um so imagine it's gonna go down a shoulder blades move to the front where my ribs are and then going down to my stomach so that is gonna take probably four to five sessions so that's gonna take probably like half a year to be completed um, only because you don't want to rush some tattoos but if we can I would love to have it done before Christmas but I'll take my time um, as well as Joe is gonna carry on my leg now my main plan, plan, <laughs> plan with my tattoos is that I actually want to have my left leg uh, all black and grey and have him just do a full sleeve um, and He's doing an amazing job, so I'm super excited with that. But then I want to have on my right leg all colors tattoo, or tattoo that are very bright and colorful. So that is another project I want to get this leg done. As well as I am talking to one of the artists that I really want uh, her to tattoo me, to get my next uh, hand tattoo, so that I can have two gorgeous hand tattoos and lastly I am uh, still don't know what I want to do but I do have uh, this portion of my arm um, empty um, I'm still thinking about what I want I go between a couple of design and a couple of people so hopefully soon uh, somebody will end up pinching me so yes. <laughs> these are some of my future project of what I would like to get tattooed. As I said on my previous video, um, hold on, we are gonna do a tattoo tour when I'm gonna show you close up and everything. I'm just getting um, a few more before I do that. I have some appointments uh, coming very, very soon, so yeah. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for being here for the second part of this tattoo Q&A. I hope you guys have really, really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun to just sit down, chill, talk with you. Please let me know down in the comments below what you want me to do next. Make sure that if you want me to actually work on uploading the video about dry healing my hand, you need to tell me. As well as uh, give me a good uh, thumbs up and say subscribe. And of course, if you can, please share this video. Help me reach the BB family that we we love and deserve it because we are the best family out of the internet and uh, always remember like if you like hate if you hate and until next time you're welcome